ஹலோ யுவான் வெல்கம் டு பி மாடலர் மைசல் ராஜ் இட்ஸ் பீன் அ வெரி லாங் டைம் தேட் ஐ டிட் லைவ் செஷன் ஸோ ஆஃப்டர் அ லாங் டைம் ஐ ஆம் டூயிங் லைவ் செஷன் ஸோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் அ நியூ டு பி மாடலர் பி மாடலர் யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ வி ஹாவ் அவர் வெப்சைட் அண்ட் வி ப்ரொவைட் சர்வீசஸ் ஃபார் மேனுஃபேக்சரர் அண்ட் ஆர்கிடெக்சர் அண்ட் எம்ஏபி கன்சல்டன்ட் in this one of that uh, we have a download page where you can download different families and of rivet you will be able to download it uh, here in this place and if you see that uh, the families uh, that you see that it could be a generic or it could be some of the manufacturers that we work with while working with those manufacturers you know we learned a lot and we uh, we uh, what uh, what to not um, we learned how we can improvise the family and how important it is for the project so when uh, if you are watching this uh, you can uh, give a chat also in the window so that uh, i know your name um, if you are the person that you if you are watching it do let me know um if you have any uh, uh tutorials that you need in the future i can address it so we are planning to go with the uh, daily one dynamo script or otherwise related to any uh, revit tutorials we planning to go in this session specifically uh, as i said we are working with manufacturers and the manufacturers we make a different components it could be a furniture or it could be anything while submitting the client we will align our families like these and we will have to uh, in 3d we will uh, sometime we will rename it uh, in 2d or in 3d we will uh, give a tags or names on the families over in this place it's a tedious task we used to repeat these tasks one by one even aligning these families in the ground floor uh, if we if we may work with the hundreds of families or 20 families we have to load those families and we have to align it and we have to tag them or place a 3d text on it so that the client can check it so when it comes to the family you can see that we in this exercise we are going to create uh uh 3d text and which will be placed uh here um, based on the family uh type that you see so for that we like to create a f- new family file new family before creating the script i'm going with uh, a family which is a generic model family um you can go ahead and select generic and generic model family and you can save this family as uh, 3d text family and you know that the 3d text option is available here and we can simply place it uh, whatever the name that you wanted and you can align it on the left side or right side uh, whichever it suits to you i am just generally placing it here for our understanding when you are selecting the text you know that we can edit the text but based on the uh, this text value we have to change it based on the type of the name so when you select it there is a instance parameter which is called here and you have to create a parameter uh, we can say this is uh, um, name text value or a name text you can keep it as simple it is and instance parameter select okay and okay even if you wanted to control the text size you will be able to come here and create a text parameter size parameter for this so we don't go, go we are not going to do it as a uh, instance it's going to be a type and it's going to change everything i'm selecting okay so let me save this family and load this into our project so we have our family here so we can place it anywhere that we need it and if if we need it we can change their uh, uh, height 
uh, the thickness value the thickness uh, what you see is 150 we can change it into 25 if you need it and load it back like this now we are going to open a dynamo which is in the manage tab and dynamo this button and we have already a dynamo window opened in this place i'm going to create a new script and i'll be uh, this process is very simple we have to create a, a select a families which is in our view so the node called model uh, select model elements i am assuming you know the dynamo it's just a hint that uh, for us to learn so there are two things we can select multiple elements we wanted to select so i am selecting this node like this and once if you are selected we have to get their um, uh, position where is it and what is their name these are the things that we need to get it so for example i can move it like in the opposite side and i can select the families i am selecting two families like this now if i am coming back there are two elements which is selected now we need to set or get the location so get location of a element because output is element so we have to get element location like this so this is going to be a point the geometry location will be getting and we need to know the family name so it's it's about all about the family parameters so get parameter and uh, you know get parameter it's a giving the what parameter we needed so it's a element and the parameter name will be family name we needed we can say family so we are running automatic so it could create some error also the script will close automatically so better we save this we can save this as script three D annotate in three D view. Now we can see that there are two families which are created, and from that we will be able to take only the family name. and this gets the family type and gives the string and we can get the family name also let me try family type i need a family name and I can go ahead and select family dot name. So when we are inputting the family, we will get the names and we can delete the type name. So if we wanted, we can combine that as well. Then we can go ahead and uh, say uh, the 3D family that we have created. We have to select that and we have to place it in this particular point. So it is going to be a origin, the center, a center place of that particular family. So we going to um, select a family. So family selection we have to do. Um, family, I'm searching. So it's it's going to be a selection window. So there is an option here, selection. So we can go and select the family here. And this is a family that we are going to place it where in this place so placing the family requires uh, there is an option called uh, we are talking about family placement so we have to search like um, family instance node there are many options different placing options so we have uh, only points and the family not the phase or not any other options so i'm going one by one so like this so this is a family type that we are going to assign 
and point we are going to assign now if i select the family type and if i select the origin the family type will be placed you can see that it, it got placed but the value did not change it the two family got the names but value did not change for changing the value we have the value in this place so we simply need to set the value of those two elements so set parameter there is an option by name for what element so these are the elements we have here and I'm applying the element what value we have here and the parameter we created that as I'm double clicking in this place and I'm creating the double quotation and uh, the name will be I think it's a text name let us create an our name text uh, something I have created it uh, name text It must be same as in syntax and once it is done so we can see that two elements got changed something the process is done now we can see that the families type will be created in this place now I can close this uh, script and make it manual and I can select all the text and select space bar automatically it rotates so you know that this based on the origin of the family so we can move it manually like this upwards and so that we will be able to place it in, in a place that we needed or we can change simply the script because based on the family position it's coming so we have to change the if we needed to change the origin we can change it manually in this place by getting the uh, x y z values of the point so point so we will be able to create a point by coordinate system we can create a x y z point like this and we can take out of these x y value and make it plus or minus with those values and add it up here and send this value to this place so that we will be able to uh, make it uh, more more uh, easy to control the distance of the tags so x value and y value and z value and we can simply double click and uh, give a plus b or a minus b whatever the rules that we needed and which direction we wanted to control i like to keep it in is it is in the same place but uh, for the y we can keep it in the same uh, and uh, we can go ahead and apply the this value and x value will be added with another slider by right clicking and uh, we'll be able to get some slider and we will be able to plus make plus of this so now we will be able to move our uh, text direction whatever the direction that we needed you can see that i'm moving the dynamo on to the other side and i'm moving the slider and uh, you can see uh, the changes are happening very little I can increase that into thousand as well and we can move it so now if we see that the value we can apply here to the point and now by default the family will be rotated not an issue we can change it back and we can see which direction we want to change and what distance we wanted to change downside and select all families or we can rotate the family by default in the family itself like this we will be able to 
control uh, the text for us and it, it will be sent to the our manufacturer and the manufacturer will be happy with the text and uh, 3d they will be able to check and uh, coordinate the model whatever the commands they will be replying back to us you know the script will be uploaded into our website and uh, the script you can download it as free in our website and you have to simply come here and you have to select dynamo script there are a few scripts already available in our website you will be able to download it after logging in do let us know uh, if you have any uh, questions or commands related to that um, i can see a commands from uh, shubhash hi shubhash so that's it about this uh, tutorial actually so you can learn um, that's our slogan get it or get it done so do let us know if you want to see some other uh, tutorials that we want to see it in the live session and you want the interaction do let us know we will be able to do some of them in upcoming days so do learn and uh, share it with your learning friends so i hope that's it for today i like to interact more with all of the people all of our learning friends um i'll be happy uh doing it um, uh, uh, upcoming sessions i like to keep it uh, more interactive sessions with you all and uh, uh see you on uh, next tutorials do subscribe uh, and share it with your learning friends see you tata bye bye see you on the next tutorial